lovelies, I am the Frognostic, and tonight on Let's Slay, life is hard, life is cruel, you start out being shunted through a smelly woman tunnel half the size of your head, you patronise for taking a shit in your drawers, you get a job where you're still patronised for taking a shit in your drawers, but in a sadder, concerned way, and then boom, your immune system, which has only had about six million years to get its act together and actually be immune to something, lets something in through the back gate, and that's your lot. In the fucking oven you go, and there, there's everyone you ever knew picking through your shit like they deserve a prize for ever bothering to know you. Life is balls. But I ain't mad. I ain't down in the mouth or wet in the eyes. You see me crying about it? You- yeah. Alright, turn around, stay there. Okay, turn back. You see me crying about it now? Exactly. Because I'm getting over it with Bennett Foddy. A game I made for a certain kind of person to hurt them. Y you mean, you mean criminals, right? Who are you, Bennett Foddy? Are you Batman? Batman, I swear, the, that shopping trolley followed me home. I, I didn't take it. It was, it was the damnedest thing, Batman. It was, it was the Riddler. And the other one, what's his face? Flipper. Big ol' hugs and kisses to Crusader Brianna for picking this up for me last December. I like to space my Christmas presents out throughout the year so that I appear to be popular right the way through rather than by festive obligation. My god, that man's stuck in a cauldron. What? What's the story here then, lad? Fleeing from cannibals, like? I... No, you know what this is, don't you? This is one of those new age hippie things where him and his missus trying to conceive a baby and she tows him halfway up a magic mountain in Tibet to soak his loins in moon princess tears for five grand a sniffle. Could just chop this fucking thing down to be fair, couldn't we? Whoa! Don't spill all the tears! That's mortgage for a house gone on the floor there. Do you There's want- no feeling uh, more intense than starting over. If you deleted your homework the day before it was due, as I have, or if you left your wallet at home, and you have to go back after spending an hour in the commute. If you want some money at the casino, and then put all your winnings on red, but it came up black. If you got your best shirt dry cleaned before a wedding, and then immediately dropped food on it. If you want an argument with a friend, and then later discovered that they just returned to their original view. Starting over is harder than starting up. If you're not ready for that, like if you've already had a bad day, then what you're about to go through might be too much. Feel free to go away and come back. I'll be here. Who the fuck? Is this one of those Disney talking cauldrons? Alright, thanks for coming with me on this trip. I'll understand if you have to take a break at any point. Just find a safe place to stop and quit the game. Don't worry, I'll save your progress always. Even your mistakes. This game is a homage to a free game that came out in 2002, titled Sexy Hiking. The author of that game was Jazuo, a mysterious Czech designer who was known at the time as the father of B-games. And B-games are rough assemblages of found objects. Designers slap them together very quickly and freely, and they're often too rough and unfriendly to gain much of a following. They're built more for the joy of building them than as polished products. We've been up the mountain too long, the voices have started up. They're comfortingly motivational now, but soon it'll be all, Hey friend, that hammer's awfully heavy, isn't it? Aren't you tired, friend? You know, a lot of people say suicide's for cowards, but if you turn around and just drove that thing into your own eye socket, I'd sure admire you for it. Do it! Do it, you pig! Come on, son. We need to get you to a hospital before your legs smell like hill tribe stew forever. You'll never be able to leave the house in shorts again. As soon as you front door closes, you'll just see five dozen cats watching you from the rooftops like that scene out the fucking birds. I'd assume what's going on here is pretty obvious to you. You move the hammer by swinging the mouse round the- FUCK! That part's fine. But then bloody physics starts up with its tiresome bullshit. Maybe we need some strength training here. Oh, perfect form. The young Brit is enjoying himself now. Fucking get up that bloody mountain, you- Right, I'm not gonna lie. I'm in entirely the wrong frame of mind to be playing this sort of thing anyway. I had a dream last night that they cast Nicolas Cage as Lara Croft in the new Tomb Raider movie, and it's really pissed me off that it isn't true. I'm not even joking, we could have had a hilariously bad movie instead of just a bad movie. Mark my words, it'll be balls. They always are. Right, don't, 
Don't fuck this up now. Nah. Just edge on over to the paddle. That's it. That's the way. Right, now all you gotta do is... No, you, you, you potted prick! You fucking pile of shit! You get up that bloody... Oh, 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 oh. Look upon this poor fool and take heed, Crusaders. Nothing good ever comes from stealing from witches. You know, I'd only heard one thing about this game before I played it, and that was from a random highlighted comment on Facebook complaining that it wouldn't launch on a MacBook Air. Which is almost ironic, because this is exactly the kind of shit that would cause me to physically launch a MacBook into the air. Alright, whoa, 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 slow down there, Iron Man. Let's just take this slow now. That's it, just gently. Imagine you're vaulting over the chest of your sleeping wife and you don't want to wake her. Yes, yes! The waking of the sleeping wife is an excellent mental deterrent. Don't rouse her, sir. You, you married a monster. No, no, no! Alright, no, it's not a complete write-off. She turned, mumbled in her sleep. You're... You're still good. <laughs> Better not be fucking around with that cauldron again or I'm gonna drill a hole in the back of it and arse rape you with a ghost pepper. <laughs> Jesus Christ on the hilltop. No! No! <laughs> right, I see what the problem here is. You lack discipline. You practice. Paint the fence, bitch. Paint it good. You are unworthy of your hammer. Unworthy of your titles. This work, don't worry. Nobody ever comes out of a training montage worse at what they do. See? Fuck me, that I'm a bit lightheaded over here. We were halfway to the bloody moon there. Come on. Oh. Well, look, you can't argue with the effort he's putting in now. It's just taking us in the wrong direction. If you just do what you were doing, but do it forwards, yeah? Exactly as you were, but less... less shit. Is this striking anybody else as a viable opening to a sequel to Macbeth? Called Macbuff. Come on, Macbuff! All the way to the Scottish throne! Come on, Macbuff! No pain, no rain! No frown, no crown! No sticks and stones, no bitches and thrones! You God damn it, get the dynamite, I've had enough of this. You! That's a deep frustration, a real punch in the gut. No, Bennett Foddy, a real punch in the gut is gonna be when I ball my fist up, rear back, throw a right cross through your lower intestine and pull out your goddamn spine! Right, come on, calm down. Calm the fuck down. This is exactly what Bennett wants. Set up there, his fucking lighthouse, laughing at us. Ha ha ha! Ha ha, wheeze. Fuck you, Bennett Foddy. You're not better than me. You're not gonna get me upset with your dishonorable tactics. Talking when I'm trying to concentrate on falling off the mountain. Playing jazz. You ever hear the saying, like water off a duck's back? That's me. But I'm not the duck here, Bennett. I'm not even the water. I'm the second much drier duck on the landscaped island, Bennett. Well, quack, quack, motherfucker. Hiking is the perfect embodiment of a B game. It's built almost entirely out of found and recycled parts. And it's one of the most unusual and unfriendly games of its Come time. On. Oh, no, it, no, 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 shut up! Shut up! Shut your goddamn devious time, mouth, Bennett Foddy! Bullshit Foddy! Bent prick! Jobby! <laughs> no amount of forward movement is guaranteed. Some cliffs are too sheer or too slippery. And the player is constantly, unremittingly in danger of falling and losing everything. I hope you had the decency to at least insert yourself as a memeable NPC at the top of this shit hillock, Foddy. I can't wait to show you exactly what a man can lose to an 18 and a half pound sledgehammer. Oh, you son of a bitch, I'm gonna kill you. It's that beach heart, that fucking beach heart, every single- That's it, come on. Come- Nearly, nearly, nearly. Yes, yes, to glory! Four! Anyway, when you start <laughs> Why? For what reason do you punish me? It might take you an hour to get over that tree. And a lot of people never got past it. You prod and you poke at it, exploring the limits of your reach and your strength, trying to find a way up and over. And there's a sense of truth in that lack of compromise. Most obstacles in video game worlds are fake. You can be completely confident in your ability to get through them once you have the correct method or the correct equipment or just by spending enough time. 
that sense, every pixelated obstacle in sexy hiking is real. Yeah, how about sex murder hiking? Yeah, play that. What? No, uh, me neither. Of course I can account for my whereabouts last Thursday evening. Oh, eat a dick. Oof, sorry about that. <laughs> no, that's all right. I'm good. I'm fine as rain. Right, stand up on the. No. Oh, shitting oh, hell! I hate this fucking scrope market Don't of a get game. Up. Get up. Get up on the log. Get on the. Oh! That's it. I'm knocking it down. Don't care how long it takes. You! This is your fault somehow. Get, get in the fucking grass. There. That's what you get, Wilson. Just be thankful I'm not Tom Hanks or I'd have my dick in you as well. Come on, you new metal head screen looking motherfucker. Do the bunny hop. Do it, you cold and ass part of fuck. You rich peasants picnic. That, that's it. That's the way, McBuff. All the way to bloody Glasgow. Woo! -hoo -hoo. All right, we've. We've earned a second here, I feel. Okay. Alright, we should be relatively safe up here. Can't see us having the rotten fucking luck to go pinballing down out and off that ledge there. Look at that bin over there. You know, every... Every piece of scenery in this game is designed to taunt you, isn't it? I thought it when I saw that coffee cup, but this is the real piss ringer. You struggle up here, feeling all proud of yourself and shit, and then Bennett Fuckface Foddy sticks a bin in a bag up there like, Oh well, big deal, somebody fucking lives up here anyway, and they put their rubbish out for regular collections, so there. That's already at least two men in a truck that have got here before you. Like I care what you think, Bennett Foddy. You're a dead man once I get to the top of this mountain. Getting over it, I see you get over falling two and a half thousand feet from the summit of Mount Bastard after I break your legs and play sledgehammer golf with your pelvic girdle. The obstacles in sexy hiking. Jesus Christ. And that makes the game uniquely frustrating. But I'm not sure Jazuo intended to make it frustrating. The frustration is just essential to the act of climbing, and it's authentic to the process of building a game about climbing. A funny thing happened to me as I was building this map. I'd have an idea for a new obstacle, and I'd build it, test it, and it would usually turn out to be unreasonably hard. <clears throat> but I couldn't bring myself to make it easier. It already felt like my inability to get past the new obstacle was my fault as Holy a player. Holy shit! Holy shit! Oh, 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 no, not from there! Not, the not from the top of the bloody mountain! Alright, it's time. I can't watch this wretched idiot suffer any longer. Come on, son. It'll be quick. Like going to sleep in a collapsing mine. Good night, sweep. It won't even let you kill yourself. The soul would have no rainbow had the eyes no tears. John Vance Cheney. My soul has no rainbow. Just a looping black Mobius strip flanked by starving jackal bodied demons that looks like a Mario Kart creepypasta. The Fragnostic, 2018.